What is going on guys, Shinji here from Caesar Media. In today's cafe racer video, I'm gonna be installing tire stickers. Today, I'm gonna be installing tire letters from a company called tirestickers.com. So as you remember, I finished the CB550 cafe racer build. For now, I put the chicks to the front end, everything looked good. I kind of want to do a little fiberglass hump here and make the seat shorter. For now, I was looking at the bike and I'm gonna paint the tank too probably do like a black line here and paint the back end of it keep the front end server but I was looking at the bike and I was like you know what I want to do something a little different I wanted to make the bike a little bit more special a little bit more Caesar Media because as it sits right now there's no Caesar Media logo on there and that's when I came across tire stickers I've never run these on any of my vehicles in the past and I know Nakai-san that's the idlers, although that's spray painted on their RWB cars. I wanted to get the similar race car look. This is obviously oh show, no go kind of motorcycle. And I also got the tire stickers for my 280Z, which is yet another oh show, no go vehicle of mine. So today I'm gonna figure out how to install these tire letters on my CV 550. Here is what we got going on. We got C0 for top of the tire and then this is racing in Japanese. This is kind of like what the Bosos of used to do back in the days. They'll put racing on whatever team that they were part of. So there's gonna be C0 on the top of the tire and racing in Japanese in Katakana is gonna be on the bottom like that. So today I'm gonna show you how that is prepared on the tire side and how everything comes together. For my CB550, which has 18 inch rims front and back, what you do is you contact tirestickers.com, you fill out the form, and you fill out which tire size that you have, and they will show you what the tire stickers would look like on your particular setup. So up top is my uh, CB550. Bottom here is a design that's gonna be implemented on my Datsun 280Z. So it's kind of cool that you get an idea of what the setup is going to look like when everything is installed. So up top is one inch and that signifies the letter size. For Datsun, I got the 1.25 inch, so it's a little larger. And here's what you get out of the kit. You get the the glue that you use to stick on these rubber components onto the tire itself and you got some cleaning solution. Now before I get to the installation process, I wanted to explain the benefit of installing tire letters like this that is bonded as opposed to what Nakai-san from RWB does which is spray painting with a stencil directly on the tire. So when you use a spray paint directly on the tire, yes it will look white, yes it will look organic and natural but only for like i don't know 100 miles 500 miles over time the chemicals and residue road grime and whatnot will penetrate into the tire into the rubber material and seep into the paint so the white paint that you sprayed onto the to the tire will turn yellow what you get with tire lettering like this is tire type material rubber material that is bonded to become a part of the tire in a way so it's not a spray paint where chemicals would seep through this is an entirely new material that you're adding onto the tire to ensure the longevity of the lettering so now i'm gonna go ahead and bring these letters to the motorcycle and show you the installation process all right guys now i'm in the garage with the cafe racer and like any paint job Preparation is key to get the best adhesion. What they recommend you to do is first, obviously, you gotta figure out where you wanna put the tire letters. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna put it where the oven is up top and road rider at the bottom. I'm just gonna clean the crap out of this. I've seen some people use sandpaper for extra adhesion. I'll see uh, how well I can clean this up first and go from there. Let it. Let it. Now that the tire is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and puncture the adhesive, pour it on the lettering, and go ahead and put it on the motorcycle. And just like that guys, the first sticker is on there. I just need to keep pushing it for like 5 minutes or so, make sure everything is set where I want it to be, and then remove the transfer film after about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning up here and take this off after 10 minutes and repeat the process throughout the whole bike here. 
All right, guys, and I'm back. So far, I gotta say, I love how the C0 came out. It's more like a military font. I think it's period correct and goes well with the bike. But the racing in Japanese font just does not flow well with the cafe racer. It's just not period correct, I feel like. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and try to attempt to remove the racing one. So surprise, because in today's episode, we're gonna be showing you how to not only install these things, but how difficult it is to remove these tire letters. Now, I don't know why anybody would want to remove these once it's installed, unless uh, you're like me and decide to change your mind. These materials are made of tire-like rubber it's going to be i would imagine a pain in the ass to remove these things so i'm just gonna take a plier and a screwdriver and get under there see if that even comes off okay so i can kind of peel this off the edge because there was lack of adhesion over there but uh you can kind of see that it's gonna take some serious elbow grease to get this off <laughs> So I must have spent, I don't know, 15 minutes per side, per lettering to get this thing off. It is really stuck on there. I thought in the beginning that this glue was like a super glue type material, but it's so well bonded to the tire that the part of the sticker is still on the tire, if you can tell. So now what I need to do is go in here and just sand down the residue, the glue residue, as well as the tire sticker residue to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna start this off with my hand, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go in with an electric sander and be careful not to scratch the limb or whatever and uh, bring it back to the normal form. All right, guys, now it's finished. Check that out. A little subtle C0 on both tires. Some lessons I have learned though with this installation process, definitely for one, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into in terms of the lettering size, location, because once you install it, it is pain ass to get it off. I was able to use a prior to pry it off and then sand down the adhesion material. And it came out pretty good. It doesn't really look like there was anything there now. And if you look at it super up close, this is where the racing text was. But you really can't tell that there was anything installed here. So that's great. These things are permanent, but it comes off if you uh, put in some elbow grease. Another lesson for you, they are little bumps on the tires from i guess the, the mold process it creates this tiny bump on the surface what i would do next time if i was to install this on a motorcycle tire is go ahead and sand this down with an electric sander beforehand so it's nice and flat because what's happening here as you can see with my e is it's sticking up because there's a bump on the inside of the e it's fine on the outside but it's kind of lifting on the inside so i might have to hit it with uh, additional glue to make sure it's nice and secure same with the r here um i'm gonna have to glue that down so make sure it's flat so that is the installation and removal process of these tire stickers overall i'm happy with the look it gives the bike more sportier race car race bike look that i was going for people will be looking at the bike as the tire spins over you see the white letter is gonna go all over and it's gonna grab people attention whether they're texting or on the phone or whatever social media as they're driving they're gonna look at your bike and be like oh what is going on with that so it's like one of those loud pipes save lives factors Factors, right it grabs people attention it adds additional character to the bike and uh, I like it I'll probably do another update video in the future on these tire stickers in terms of adhesion and the cleanliness so that's it for today thanks for watching guys make sure to hit the like button if you like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you want more updates on the cafe racer peace out